Hello everyone, this is Dolphin Treasure here, and welcome to this week's little horror game video. Welcome to a game that is called Wardwell House. It's a point and click style type of a game. I can't remember exactly where I found it. I think I found it on itch.io not too long ago. And it's free to play, and I wanted to give it a try here because I heard that it was super spooky. And this is really strange looking. Um, a Walk in the Woods. I'm going to close that real quick. I've been lost on the water for countless days. <laughs> I'm dehydrated, I'm starved, exhausted, and I think I'm losing it. The water's not shallow enough for me to run aground. How am I supposed to find a way out? I think I missed that last sentence. I'm so sorry. Uh, how to play. To look around by holding the left mouse button and uh, zoom in, zoom out by right clicking all the poses. Zoom in arrow to proceed. Press enter to adjust settings. Read all hot spots. Okay. Whoa, this is pretty cool. I feel like I'm one of those Google cars, you know, that's just kind of looking around. Oh my. Hello. Hi. Oh, okay. That's our kayak. Can we get into our kayak? Hello, kayak. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, there's no way that this is getting fixed without tools and materials even then. Okay. Um, whoop, wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit for me to uh, get used to. Oh, here we go. Swimming downstream is dangerous and requires too much energy. I should follow a path through the forest and I might be able to find something to fix my boat. Okay, so we are a stranded kayaker that has gone on a little trip on a little trippy trip and uh, not that kind of trippy trip you weirdos but we've gone on a trippy trip here and oh hello and we must find oh we must find materials to help us get our boat fixed oh i can do that wait why was this inverted Ooh, a strange landmark hopefully Oh, that does look a little strange did the developer actually go out into the wilderness and actually do all this that would be pretty fracking cool if he did. Or they did. Um, let me see. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, hold on. Did I freaking invert my mouse? Okay. There we go. Hmm, it did it for me. Hmm, I thought I heard footsteps from back there, but it was probably just my imagination. Well, you know, you are in the middle of the forest. You're in the middle of the woods. Be you know, it's, it's very possible that you heard something. Um, you know, there's little critters and stuff that are all over the place, but, and look at this, it's daytime. It shouldn't be that scary yet. All right. What do we find? Ooh, hello. Hi. Dead decaying trees everywhere. This island doesn't look like most of the habitable of places. Do I hear footsteps? I'm on an island? Huh. Fascinating. Fascinating. And that's where I came from, right? Okay. What is that? Is there something behind me? Ooh, there's another one. Should I be scared? Hmm, another one? And with the barbed wire around it, is it some sort of animal trap? That does not look like a trap, dude. Come on, really? I don't even know what kind of person I am. Am I... Am I a famale? Am I my male? Or am I... Oh. What the fuck is that? What is that? Why would someone hang a creepy looking black cloth like that? That's so bizarre. Yeah, that is very bizarre. I'm kind of creeped out. At first I thought that was a ghosty goo. Hmm. I don't know how long this game is. And I don't know exactly what... What the... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this game. I have no idea about this game. More than one cross on the ground usually means a cemetery or a burial ground. Well, they're kind of scattered randomly. So it doesn't really make me think that it's because of a cemetery. Oh, hello. What's this? Um, is this significant in any way? I'd MK support say RK yada yada yada. Is this a real tree? Wow. Names and other markies too weathered to make out. I remember doing carvings like this with my son on his favorite tree back home. Ooh, okay, so I am a parent of some sort, but I don't know if I am uh, a mom or a dad or what have you. I don't know. Hold on, I gotta turn this up. Ooh, ooh, I liking, I liking the sounds. The sounds are very creepy. I am liking the sounds. Whoa, hi. Hello. 
There's a skull on the floor! Oh god, okay! Hi, skull! Uh, what are you doing out here? What are you doing outside of your grave? Um, thing? Hello! Oh my god, a human skull! It looks aged and decrepit. Is this from a shallow grave? I don't know, and I don't know if I want to know. Am I going to have that creepy black cloth following me? Oh god, what is that? What the fuck is that? It looks like a mannequin leg. Huh? Oh god, that's creepy. Not too sure what the creature's what creature's leg that is. That's a fucking human leg. Are you blind? Am I even human? How can I not recognize a human leg? Um, it looks like there's there are predators about. I need to find shelter before it gets dark. Yeah, yeah, very, very good idea. <laughs> Gulp. I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Hello? There's a chain on that tree. What's that doing there? A noose. What? A noose tied to a glistening steel chain. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see it. I thought that was a giant hook or something. Like, what? It looks fresh, like it's only recently been placed. <sighs> oh, God. That's, that's not very comforting. Am I missing anything? I'm no, I am missing something. I'm missing a couple things. Hello, Lantern. This hasn't been here long. Whoever left it is likely still around. Well, uh, let's not meet them, shall we? What's this? Ooh, another chain and a shackle. What? <laughs> Iron shackles, crusted with what can only be blood. I should stay calm. My exhaustion might uh, is making me imagine frightening scenarios. Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm terrified and I don't know what I should be terrified of. Hi. Hello. Hook like thingy. Good gravy. What is this? What is happening on this island? Dry blood coats the hook. I would have assumed that these were uh, being used by hunters, but after all the other evidence I've seen, I began to think otherwise. Um, yeah, if you're a hunter, you don't necessarily need a hook. <gasps> what is that on the crowd? Oh my god, I know that's a crow, but what's that next to it? <clears throat> oh god. Ah, finally, some life on this island. I'm so hungry, I wouldn't mind joining them in their little fe- Ew! You don't know what the fuck they're eating? That's disgusting, dude. Ugh. Gross, gross, gross. Okay, can we- <gasps> Is that something? Oh, I thought that was a mask for a second. Oh my god, I, I thought we were being followed by someone and wearing a mask. Oh my god. Okay, did I miss anything? Hello? Lucy, I'm home! Whoa. That gets disorientating really fast. Whoa, Jesus. God, I'm going to make myself dizzy. Guide my way, stranger of the light and the dark and all this fun jazz. Help me. Where's my little arrow thingy? Oh, there we go. Ugh, all the all the guts are still inside. Ew, that's so disgusting. Someone or something skinned the poor thing alive. Hmm, who would do such a thing? I don't know. Oh, who would want to do that to a cat? Cats are too gamey. Oh, oh God. Oh God, I don't like you. Hello? You're starting to form an arm. I'm kind of scared. I thought that was a person, but it's just another black cloth. Ooh, I have a bad feeling that I'm being watched or followed. <laughs> don't say that. This is too creepy, man. What's that? Hello? A dead crow whose uh, oof yeesh. a dead crow whose wings have been torn off. Oh my god, we're dealing with a psycho, a psychopath. Am I the psychopath? <laughs> I don't want to find out. If I can't find some other meal, then I'm gonna have to come back and cook this. Ew, bakers can't be choosers. I beg to differ, sir, <laughs> or ma'am. I beg to differ. Hello, what's over there? Something important. There's a white patch on that tree. I was just very curious. Oh, look, there's another hook on the floor. Okay. Is that something that we want? No? Okay. I'm a little nervous. It's just a normal walk in the woods, guys. You know, nothing to be scared about. Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Hello. Hi. What am I supposed to look for over here? Oh. There's something. Hmm. 
Let me follow the stream and see where it leads to. At least I'll have something to guide me along. Yeah, that's true. They always say that if you're ever lost in the woods, you want to find a source of water like a stream or a river and you can follow it. Ooh. What is that? Is that a wing? Where the hell have I come? That's a human hand. Oh, now I see it. Now I see the thumb and I see the fingers. That's a human hand with flesh still on the bone and that remains are fresh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yuck. Are you sure you want to continue down this way? I, d I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Whoa. Holy fuck. What is that? I'm sure this black cloth is meant to be a foreboding message, but I should press on. I'm dying of hunger. Um, maybe that's the message, is that you're going to eat yourself eventually? Hi? Hello? Is that even a thing? Can you self-cannibalize? Hmm. Maybe I could build a raft using some of these broken tree branches after I get energy. Well, how far are you going to go? I mean, you're already here. You might as well take the sticks with you. Hmm. This hook looks used like it's been here for a while. Some chunks of rotten flesh still remain on it. <laughs> Gross. I have a completely crazy... I have to be completely crazy to eat that. Though I'm not too far from that line of thinking right now. Oh my god, what is the matter with you, man? I know you're hungry, but good lord, get a hold of yourself. Whew. And think about something. What? Hi? Hi? Ooh. This particular black cloth looks like it's a praying witch. Maybe I'm hallucinating, but it appears to move. Okay. Well, let's just get away from it then, shall we? Oh. That's it? I didn't have to look at anything else? Really? That was it? Okay. Moving on, I guess. Ooh. I like the music. Whoa! Hi! Okay! Alright! You're following me! That's not cool, bro! That's not cool! Each time I see these, I get a strange feeling that they were once people. What? But it's the same person! Oh, the music stopped. Why did the music stop? Did someone else receive an abrupt violent end here? Or has my delirium gotten the best of me? I don't know anymore, dude. Man-made path in the middle of the forest. Hmm, I finally might be nearing civilization. I finally might be nearing an end to my suffering. Oh my god. Please don't tell me that this entire walk in the woods is just for you to do something that I don't want you to do. Why did the music stop? That's that's really, really unnerving. Uh-oh. What am I supposed to be looking at here? Something gonna pop up behind me? <laughs> I'm scared. Alright, I'll look up in the trees. Hello? So, so far we've met a dead bird, a dead person, a floating black piece of fabric. There's nothing for me to look at? You're kidding me. There has to be something here that I'm missing. You're kidding. Hold on. No way. I can't be missing something in here. This this looks way too important. No. Oh. When am I going to get to the house? Or is there even a house? Can't get to the house if there's no house. Ooh, that was oh, that was just chapter 1. Chapter 2, the Wardwell house. The path has led me to a clearing and I've arrived at an old dilapidated house. At uh, last, I have found sanctuary. I wouldn't be so sure about that, buddy. You might be dealing with the witch. The witch that might eat your face. We don't, we don't want that to happen. We like our faces. Whoa. 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 <laughs> that is badass house. And a fucking freaky house at that. How come houses in the woods are always the freakiest? Could someone explain that to me? Hello? It's obvious that strange cult-like activities took place on this island in a previous era. So is that what you come to the conclusion of? That there's some weird cult practices going on? You don't even know- you never even knew what those were to begin with. Hello? No way, I'm going back into the wilderness. Okay. Well then why did you want to look back that way? Huh? Huh? 
Okay. Then, oh, here we go. Okay. Um, hello. Hmm. I wonder who would build a house on the on the sinister island. I think about it later. I'll think about it later. But right now, I really need to rest. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go in. Do we have to go in? Oh, I don't want to go in. Whoa. Is this really what the inside of the house looks like? Oh my god, that is so cool. Hello. Okay. The decapitated head of a horse. Oh my god, it's the godfather all over again. The eyes and the innards of the head have been removed and the smell here is sickening. Yeah, I can't imagine that smelling too good. Not even a little. Oh yeah, there's the outside of the house. Whoa, good gravy golly god why is there a toboggan sticker on the door <laughs> okay all right hi toboggan sticker oh god various rusted tools and chains scattered around nothing unusual here really <laughs> really you you were walking through the woods and you saw tons and tons of that shit covered in blood and you see it in this house and you're like oh there's nothing to worry about it's all good Oh my god. Oh. Oh, do we have to? Oh, do we have to? Oh, the logic in these horror games totally makes sense. Oh, that's totally logical. Hello? What's this? A chainsaw covered in blood. Everything is covered in blood over here. What the fuck? A chainsaw covered in blood. Looks like there's, um, uh, looks like more than just trees were being cut over here. What a nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then you're just like, oh, no, it's totally fine that we saw chains and hooks in the woods with blood on it. And they were over there in the house. Nothing unusual here. Move along, folks. Nothing to see here. Good God. Ew, there's flies in my ear. Ugh, go away. Locked. Hmm, so much for trying to go through the side door. Well, gee, I wonder what else we have to do. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> okay um well let's see here oh there we go okay well we'll uh, go in here i guess we're going this way how come they have one door locked but not the other one? Ooh, this is pretty oh dude this is cool i like how it's all nice and bright <laughs> oh that's really cool like where do they actually go to take a picture to take a 3d picture of this place i mean there's a guest book there and everything that's pretty cool this day planner contains entries in the day-to-day -day errands and appointments hmm the last entry dated five years ago five years ago you say huh hello a painting of a gorgeous horse in its prime unfortunately it looks like the same as the one outside uh, okay. That poor horsey. May he rest in peace. Zez. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I remember that painting. I can't remember what it's called, but I've seen it before when I was studying my, in my art classes. I remember that. I'm stunned. Immac immaculateness and opulence. Opulence, sorry. Were not the impression that I was expecting to have on the way in. Yeah, I expected this place to be completely dilapidated, but it's actually nice looking. Explain yourself, hmm? Did you step into another dimension? Maybe. Who the heck keeps a house this nice on an on a deserted island? Really? Let's see. Hello. These uniforms look ancient. Seems like little children used to live here. Uh, who says that they still don't live there? Maybe this place is haunted by little children. You never know. Well, well oh, hi. What else am I looking for? What else am I looking for? Maybe it was the children who freaking decapitated and skinned that cat. You never know. Everything looks well maintained. Is someone still living here? Oh, I would say so, buddy boo. You might want to leave. Oh, wow. There's more stuff to look at. Okay. Hello. According to the clock, today's date is September 21st. Hey, that's my birthday. I can't believe that I've been on the water for more than five weeks now. Five weeks? You didn't pack enough food for five weeks? Are you mental? If you knew you were going to be gone that long, why didn't you pack enough food? 
Why do I keep asking questions? Why do I keep thinking of the logical questions here? You know what? I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> a well-groomed family. They look very rich. Well, gee, I wonder, was it the porcelain that gave it away? Oh, but you got to extend your pinky when you're drinking tea. Okay. What else have we got? All right. Are we just going to go room to room and examine everything? Can I just leave? Can I go upstairs? I'm very tired. I want to. I thought I wanted to find a place to rest and find some stuff to repair my boat. But I guess not. This book looks like it's a part of a series of the 17th century American history. Salem, Massachusetts. Places in American history. I'm starting to see the story here. Just a little bit. I'm starting to see a little bit of the story. Which is Salem... Oh, hello. Is there a message that we can listen to? You have 88 new messages. Playing message from five years ago. <laughs> Jacob, this is my final reminder about the upcoming board meeting. As CEO and chairman of the board, you are responsible to answer the charges leveled against you. The meeting will discuss how you squandered company funds on gambling. You have not attended a single meeting for months, and the board will also decide your future as chairman. Please respond. This is your company, and it faces huge problems. For shame, Jacob. Am I Jacob? Am I the one running away from my... my problems? Hmm. He thinks so. All right. Oh, hi. Okay, let's go in here. Let's see what's in here. Let us rest our weary bones. Hello. What's in here, then? Some of these photos have uh, place cards with dates and names. They appear to be family photos through multiple generations. Some of them are quite old. Yes, it looks like everything in this house is really old. This fireplace has been used a great deal. There's a faint sensation of residual heat coming, uh, being given off. Oh, God, okay. Hello. Text on theology, mysticism, and ancient history. It's apparent that many more books are missing from the shelf than any of the others. Ooh, what's missing? What's missing from the shelf, Jacob? <gasps> volume after volume on topics ranging from finance to probability to investing and even horse racing. Hmm. Oh, hello. Um, a painting depicting deconstruction caused by rising waves and storms. Ooh, very pretty. E. Claire wins the Kentucky Derby. Was that the horse... Was that this person's horse? A diary next to a photo of an old man must be the previous patron of the family. Most entries discuss a hope for his son, Jacob's ability to lead the company to be built uh, uh, into prosperity and remove the previously tarnished reputation of the Wardwell family. Ah, okay. So, poor Jacob has been in put in charge of his father's company. That is that is a really creepy painting. Oh my god. That is so spooky. Okay. And apparently Jacob has been gambling. He's been going to the Kentucky Derby instead of worrying about his family's fortune and business. Oh no. Oh my. And it... Ooh. Maybe he summoned a witch to kill his enemies and he just wandered off and scampered away when he was found out? I don't know. We'll find out. But I'm starting to piece a little things together. Pages and pages of the head of the household's diary entries. It looks like he suddenly shifted gears and focused on gambling above all else. And then he begins focusing on his family history and geology, genealogy. His name is Jacob Wardwell. Okay. Ah, so now we're starting to get into the complexities of the story here. A very neglectful gambling business owner too much on his shoulders at once by his father? Hi? Hello? Who's there? You are very creepy as well, ma'am. Ooh. What the fuck? What is happening? Looks like a family sat here every evening sharing a dinner. Oh, very nice. And did the fireplace keep them warm? This fireplace is ornamental. 
uh, ornamental and is uh, another expression of wealth as it's uh, expensive marble with generous golden accents. Yeah, 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 we get it. They're, they're wealthy. We get it. And it stopped. Why did it stop? That's a little strange. Why did it stop? This is the last instrument I want to hear played right now. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. But I also have a suspicion that you're going to hear it playing in the middle of the night when you're trying to go to sleep. Hello. The frame reads Samuel Wardwell, May 16th, 1610 on September 22nd, 1692, Salem, Massachusetts. <sighs> That's where I figured that we were. Hello. To my one and only true love, Catherine. Jacob. Okay. Hmm. Hello? Eclair's triple crown win. That horse must have been a real winner. It was coveted once. Hmm. All right. What am I missing? What am I missing? Is there something on the ceiling that I'm missing? Ooh, look at that stucco. Isn't that gorgeous? They don't do that anymore, which is a shame because it's a really cool style and I really enjoy it. Oh, hello. What's on here? A very old and dusty chest, and that is tightly locked. Oh, what a surprise, surprise. Is there's going to be something in there later that I'm going to need? I don't even know. So far, I haven't, like, picked up anything. I've just been wandering around exploring. Which is not a big deal. I actually like exploring really cool stuff. Like, really cool old architecture and houses and stuff. I'm kind of a creeper when it comes to that kind of a thing. Whoa. Like, sometimes I just want to walk into a house that I really find interesting on the outside and be like... Excuse me, can I come in and just explore your house? <laughs> it looks so awesome. The painting depicts a man being seduced in a forest by an enchanting witch. Uh-huh, you don't say. A portrait of Eclair. This must have been made to commemorate its big dirty win. Okay. Oh, that was my footsteps. Oh, God. I got spooked by my own footsteps. <laughs> okay. I thought there was other footsteps, but no. Okay. Oh, hello. Another piano. My goodness, that's a lot of pianos. Piano Sonata number eight in C minor. I'm familiar with that song, and I can't think of how it goes. I'm familiar with Sana Sonata. Sonata number eight. But I don't remember what it is. Huh. It sounds like double clocks are happening. Hello. That shirt looks freshly washed and ironed. I swear to God, you stepped either back in time or into a... Oh! Completely different dimension. Oh, that spooked me. Oh my God. I'm so tense. I need to calm the fuck down. Oh my God. It was just a piano. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but I'm so drained, it's hard to concentrate. So you just slam your hand down on the piano? You did that on purpose! Calm. <laughs> Calm. <laughs> How many fucking pianos do you need? <laughs> My god. Okay. Can we go to bed now? I'm tired. No, we still have to explore. Oh, God. Okay, me thinks you have some water damage. Uh, I just have a hunch. Just just a little. Okay, you might want to call the plumber. All right, what's in here that we need? I already looked at those. Ooh, now it's time to go upstairs these stairs and get haunted by a witch. I don't like that music. Music is scary. That is very, very scary. Hello? Evidence of well traveled family. These vases look exotic and expensive. Uh -huh, very much so. Okay, we get it. They are rich, they can travel, they own multiple pianos for some reason, and they like to extend their pinkies when they're drinking tea. We get it! A letter addressed to Jacob Wardwell by his wife, who says that she will return in one week for the rest of her things and collect the children. <gasps> Your gambling addiction, sir, has chased off your family. I hope you're proud of yourself. Or did you have an affair with a witch in the woods? <laughs> Either way, it's not good on you, dude. Either way. Several horses, several horse racing trophies. That horse must have earned its keep. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, until they decided to ship it to the slaughterhouse and turn it into glue. That poor horse. 
Oof. Can I sleep in here? Or is it too frilly for you? I don't know. Because there's dolls and shit everywhere. Hello. Portrait of Ella and Eva Wardwell. Oh, so that's Jacob's children. How pretty. Okay. Oh, God, I thought that was a ghost in the mirror for a second. That would have spooked the fuck out of me. Hello, pretty dollies. A cloth on the arm and midsections look very worn, like they've been carried and held a lot. Yes, that's what children do with their toys. It's so tempting, but this house has raised my curiosity, so I'll look around first. You were just saying how tired and hungry and, and all this nonsense that you were. What is that? Did they literally just try to put a bracket over a crack in the house? <laughs> okay, that's like trying to keep it together with duct tape, I'm assuming. That's kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, you just said you're, that you were so tired and how hungry and desperate you were to eat a fucking dead raven. And now you're like, ooh, I'm actually curious. I'm going to look around the house. Photos from the from decades past. It looks like someone who was searching through this family's background for something. Hmm? Well, I'm sure. I mean, you know, Jacob probably has a lot of enemies because of all the shenanigans that he's been getting himself into with his gambling and his horses and having an affair with a witch. I'm just saying. Just saying. More evidence of the children. They're very dusty. Huh? Okay. And it looks like something was on this wall before, but it is missing now. Like a mirror of some sort. Am I going to actually have to start placing this stuff and, you know, just trying to collect things? I have no clue. Okay, what am I... Oh, here we go. What's up here? Are those scratches on the ceiling? They kind of look like paint splatters, but sure, let's call them scratch marks. Shall we? Hmm. I I'm just assuming here. I, I don't want to make any scary assumptions, even though I'm in a very spooky, scary house. Um, ooh, this looks comfy. And even an even better bed. Hmm. It's done. This will blah. It's done. This will be my new bedroom for the next few days. Good lord, you really have to stay here that long? Are you sure you want to with all that blood and stuff that you noticed? I mean You know what? <laughs> if I die, I'll be like, it's your own damn fault. <laughs> okay. Um Is that it? Or, oh, hello, there's the tuxedo. Ooh, it's very, very handsome. Nicely tailored, blah, blah, nicely tailored tuxedo, though I have, it has several red stains on it. And you want to stay here for five days. Or a couple days, anyway, you said. It's like, what? <laughs> really? Oh, God, whoever owns all this shit is probably not going to be happy that you're, <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God footsteps someone is coming upstairs oh 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 can't do nothing i can't do anything can i hide something someone is here i better hide yeah you better fucking hide where are you gonna hide i can't do anything you're fucking kidding me you're fucking kidding me you're standing here oh oh Hide. Hide. <laughs> okay. I might just wanted to come in here and sleep on your bed for a couple days. Do I do anything? <laughs> Do I do anything? Can I defend myself with anything? No, I'm just kind of... I'm just... Oh! Oh! I'm just kind of stuck here. Is it safe to come out? Phew, that was close. All right. Well then. Um, I think I've seen enough. I I'm ready to go. I don't know about you, but that raven in the woods was looking really delicious. Mmm! very tasty whoever's here went down the hallway i've got to find somewhere to hide downstairs okay all right well then let's go back downstairs oh god oh god oh god oh i don't know if it's timed or not but okay let's go hurry why can't you just leave dude 
You don't belong in here anyway. On second thought, I better leave right rather than hide as I don't want to get caught. Y good idea, Sherlock. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. We don't want Jacob, uh, you know, slashing our heads off, okay, with a freaking rusty chainsaw. Can I get out of here? Why am I still here? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Let's go, let's go. Get, go, 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 go. Good lord. You run really slow, you know that? Oh, thank goodness I got out. I don't know who that was, but I'd rather not find out. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. God, that's so fucking cool. All right, can we go now? Can we get the F out of here? Please, can we go? Oh, God. He's probably going to be right behind us, isn't he? It's beginning to get dark. I was really in the house for that long. Hmm, I wonder if I passed out for a while and didn't even notice. <gasps> what are you talking about? No. Oh, you kind of look like you're drugged, sir, because everything is turning sideways. What did you drink? What did you eat? I'll have to drag my feet to my boat. Maybe I can patch up with some of the fallen tree branches near it. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that and quit looking around for your girlfriend. Oh, you're spooky. Just thinking about that back on the water makes me sick. The sun was beating down on me for days and I have nothing to eat or drink. That's your own fault for not preparing, okay? I have no sympathy for you whatsoever. <laughs> Am I a cruel person? Oh. Being completely alone for weeks without, my re without any resources can make a man go crazy. The mind starts turning on itself, leading to hallucinations. Oh, is that so? So do you think you actually hallucinated that person coming into the house or the house entirely? Are you actually Jacob yourself? In one hallucination, I saw the waves rise as high as the skyscrapers and they came crashing down upon me. When I came to my senses, the water was serene and peaceful. <laughs> I think you're going a little mad, my dear. Am I looking any worse? It's about to start raining any minute. How will my broken boat handle a storm? Well, I don't know, but we can certainly find out. Can I? Oh, hello, it's the tree. Hello, tree. All right. This is a really cool experience, by the way. I actually really like this. It's spooky and cool. I think I'm almost back to where I began. Oh, good. Let's keep going. Let's go get back in the boat. You can at least use your boat as a freaking shelter of some sort. I mean, it's got a hole in it. It's a kayak. Ah! This can't be possible. How could I have gotten lost and navigated back by mistake? It wasn't a mistake, dude. It was not a mistake. Wait a minute. You want to go into your hallucination? Are you fracking serious? Wait, we don't have a choice. Chapter 3, The Son of Salem. It's too cold outside and the rain is getting heavier by the minute. I can't risk getting hypothermia by staying outside. It's best to go inside the house until the rain stops. I just hope that the person that lives here is gone. <laughs> um, sure. Why not? Let's do that. Let's take the toboggan sticker. Uh, okay. God, it's so dark now. What are we going to do? Oh, dude, I'm not comfortable with this at all. I don't know how many chapters there are in this game. Hello? You have 87 new messages. Playing message from five years ago. Ooh. Hello. Jacob. Uh, I wanted to speak face to face, but uh, since you didn't show up for the meeting. Uh... It's with the utmost regret. I have to tell you that you're fired effective immediately and the board has elected me the new chairman and CEO of Wardwell Industries. Ooh. Your actions have brought this company to its knees, but I will try my best to restore the once great name that your father built. Oh, and uh, say hi to Kathy for me. <laughs> You fucker. You slept with his... 
wow, why am I listening to this guy's messages unless I am the owner of this house? And I've lived here my entire life, and I just think I went on my five-week excursion in my kayak. Oof. Just so weird. Very old newspaper clipping of the Salem's Gazette from that must have been one of its first years in publication in 1791. The reporter is writing about the aftermath of the Salem witch trials, which were near their 100-year anniversary. Oof. It looks like many victims' families members were financially compensated, but money can't replace the dead. Well, ain't, ain't that the fucking truth? You guys and your crazy witch hunts. <laughs> My god. I'm very glad I wasn't alive back then, because if I was, I would have been hung for being a witch. Uh-oh. I've been locked in. I can't get it open no matter how hard I try. Well, shit. Who the hell is locking you in? Did you lock yourself in? Diary entry by Jacob Wardwell, dated five years ago. That familiar dark sensation has again been growing in me. I can hear his voice in my head, leading me to unimaginable acts. I have fought it for years, but alas. The answering machine is inoperable and there's no phone attached. I sound like a creaking door because I'm really spooked. <laughs> Alright, hello. Time-worn documents with illustrations that are horrific. A bull's head on a man's body. A woman with crushed... A woman is being crushed with a pile of treasure that is increased in weight on top of her. What the hell? One coin at a time while she looks up at what's happening to her in agony. The back of the document signed by Samuel Wardwell. There are some really nasty sickos in here. That painting is still creepy. Hello, hold on, I need to look at it first. This diary wasn't open to this page when I left it. Grandfather came to me in a dream last night, the same dream of him being led for execution, but this time he smiled at me as the noose was tied around his neck, hoping our pact, or knowing that our pact, had been sealed. Oh my. Ooh, good Jesus. This old man's eyes have been steely, have a steely toughness to them. His expression sends a chill down my spine. I can't even see his fucking face. I just see a neck and a nose, and that's it. What is that? An ancient-looking cutout that reads, "When the full moon riseth, riseth, and the tide is high, gratify the Lord, and endue upon their self thy self eternal blessings." It's signed by Samuel Wardwell. Okay. So was this guy the leader of, uh, of the Salem Witch Trials? I don't know. It's locked, but there's still a deep stench of something rotting inside. I'd rather not try opening it. Oh, no, I don't blame you. Someone needs to put that shit in the freezer ASAP. Oh, wait, there's no freezers. <laughs> Ice boxes weren't invented back then. Oh, God. I don't want to go up there. That's really spooky looking. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to go up there either. <sighs> What am I looking at? Hello? Oh. Oh. My footsteps keep scaring me. Books on the occult and paganism. A bookmark is one of the chapter, uh, is on the chapter about the faith's vision of hell. It's chilling how similar this house is to its description. A valley where people and animals were scattered and the entrances were littered with human remains. Have I been in hell this entire time? <clears throat> and that's why I can't leave. This leaves me to believe all the more that I am Jacob. For a second I thought that was writing on the wall, but it's not. <gasps> I knew you were going to do that. Ooh, I'm scared. But okay, we'll go anyway. Sounds like there's an air conditioning on. <laughs> a note by Jacob Wardwell. And so it ends, or begins. They screamed and wailed as the blaze devoured them, and I yet had no feelings. I will fulfill his destiny, something my weak father never could.
killed his family. He killed his family. A page from Ella Wardwell's diary. How could you do this to my cat, father? Seeing her burned alive has left a scar on my mind that will remain forever. This is my last diary entry dedicated to you. Someone who did such a horrific thing cannot be my father. Whoa. Dude, you are fucked in the head, man. Whoa. I don't think we've gone down this way yet. No, we haven't. Hello. These eerie looking dolls are giving me the creeps. I get a strong feeling that they start that they're staring at me. Yeah, dolls do that. They're they're creepy. It must be a voodoo doll for some so of some sort because it's filled with rusted nails and needles. Ew, gross. Huh. All these dolls look <gasps> Whoa, that doll, the, all the eyes are glowing high. <gasps> Holy hell. Oh my god, that's creepy. That is fucking freaking me out. What the hell is happening? There's strong presence of something emanating from these dolls. Oh no, shit, their eyes are glowing. Whew. Jesus, that's fucking freaky. Uh, can I- Oh. 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 Oh, my head is throbbing and I'm on the brink of insanity. This can't really be happening. This can't be my end. Oh, Jesus. I think you're in hell and you're slowly descending the circles of hell, my friend. Whoa. Hello? Murderous tools are scattered across the floor. A deranged and demented psychopath lives here. I was better off dying in the water than this hell. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, um... Hello? I don't remember that being there. Or that being there. Okay. Alright. Okay. We're going in here now. I don't know what this is, but we're going. Chapter 4. To a better place. With whatever life I have left in me, I need to make my way back to the forest. There must be some way to escape. If you're in hell, there's no escape, my friend. I in the cellar? <gasps> I am! These stories always take us to really creepy cellars. I hear footsteps above me. Oh, oh here I am. Okay. Good lord. Oh my god. How the heck did I do that so easily? This can't be that easy. <gasps> Ooh, that is so cool. Thank God I'm out of that place. Oh my God. That is so damn creepy. Okay. But now we hear a wolf. A wolf in the woods. Ow. Ow. I know that there's someone following me. There's a random dog. I know there's someone following me. Either that or I'm hallucinating. I hear footsteps. It seems like there are wild dogs on this island. Though in this darkness, it's hard to see what's going on. Well, yeah. I mean, what about that lantern that you found? Can you go grab it? And, uh, yeah? Ooh, God, this is freaking. I feel so weak that it can easily become prey for any predator. Yeah. Ooh. How come you didn't hear the wild dogs earlier? Hmm? I think that server is calling out to you, dude. What did you do? I got to muster up the little energy that I got left to get the hell out of here. You're in hell. I don't think there's anywhere you can go, my friend. There's a lantern. Grab it. Those footsteps sound closer. I feel someone or something is following me. 
I can't see them. Of course. Of course I can't see them. Why would I think I'd be able to see them? Why? Why was that a thing that I could think? Maybe it's because I'm going nuts. Am I going crazy? Ooh, the footsteps have stopped. Whatever was following me seems to have retreated. I fucking doubt it! <laughs> I doubt so! Much doubt! All the doubt! Doubt clout! <laughs> I can see moonlight shimmer on the water. Looks like I'm finally close to my boat. Yeah, but your boat is ruined and you haven't grabbed anything to fucking fix it! So what are you gonna do once you get to it? Huh? Riddle me this. And damn it, the storm must have swept away my boat. Now what? Now you die. What the hell just happened? What the fuck? Hi. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now everything is all colored. Someone doesn't know how to pick up after themselves. Oh, that was cool. Most expensive horse sold. Horse bought by famed industries. Jacob Wardwell became a proud owner of Eclair, the most expensive horse ever sold. Uh, has become common sight even at big money races. Even has his company stock has underperformed since he took reins from his late father, Hollister Wardwell. I have my eye on Eclair for a year and I look forward to the derby season this horse Maybe my luck charm. Oh, he buys the island. The chairman and CEO of World, World Industries has bought himself a large island. This newspaper has learned I wanted privacy for my family, and this is a magnificent place. Work has already started on the house that we are building there. The location will remain a secret, though there are hints that it's near the coast of Massachusetts. Well, I won't go into that. My family has a history and legacy here, but I have told you I will not disclose the location. Oh. Eclair continues losing streak. Uh-huh. Bad times continue for Eclair and her owner. Eclair has been the same, hasn't been the same since an injury a year ago, and she continues to lose. Uh, paid the highest sum ever to buy Eclair, but he has seen his fortune dwindle after gambling massively. See, I knew it! I knew it! They recently closed four steel mills, and the company has been laid, has laid off thousands of people. I knew it! Warwell mentioned burns down, the whole family dead. Ooh. His remains were not found. The famous mansion, which has been a staple of Andover for decades, burned down in ashes last night. Firefighters arrived at the scene, but were unable to put out the massive blaze until morning. Charred remains were found of the wife and their two kids, Catherine, Ella, and Eva. The remains of Jacob have not been found, and the authorities are still searching. <gasps> oh. Oh. Many years later. Ooh, this is still going? I like this. Hi. Oh, it's in the middle of winter time, it looks like. Hello. There's a house up there. Or some sort of structure up there. Hi. Where'd the house go? It was there, and now... Oh, there it is. After all these years of searching, could this finally be the island I've been looking for? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Am, who am I? Am I Jacob? I swear to God, I'm Jacob. I don't like that sound. I really, really don't like that sound. I really don't like that sound. That sound is not a happy sound. I've been searching more than 20 years, Dad. I hope you're still alive. What? Wait, what? Dad?
bad. What? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Thank you for playing. If you enjoy, please rate it on Steam as so we can make a similar experiences in the future. Wait, wait a second. Wait, hold on a second. Was was I Jacob? Was I Jacob looking for my dad? Who was I? That was weird and cool and confusing. Was I one but Catherine and the two girls died, so I couldn't have been one of them. Who was I? Did I have an affair with someone? Whoa, that was a really cool experience though. I enjoyed that. I'm still intrigued as to like who I actually was. Because my entire thought process is that I am Jacob. And at the end it kind of sealed it. But then again, I was looking for my dad this whole time. But I thought, but it said my father died. I was never found in the fire. So I had escaped, but my wife and my two kids had died. I, I'm a little confused. I, it, it's still a really cool story. Like when you piece stuff together and the witches and, and hell and all that, that kind of threw me for a loop because I I thought originally that my character was somebody that was stuck in hell because of what they've done. And from the sounds of it, Jacob murdered his family and he was on the run from it. That's what I was guessing. And his hallucinations were bringing him back to his own house and just searching around. You know, it was really interesting just piecing everything together. Got the, the bad stuff that he did right away. Like I got the gambling bit right away that he did really poorly. And then he ended up killing his own horse. Um, because they kept losing, and he, but he kept gambling on them anyway. Um, and then he got pissed off, and he lost his mind. <laughs> and uh, his wife and his wife wanted to leave him because of uh, his gambling addiction and the financial troubles that he put them into. And he just completely lost it. But then, what about his dad? Like, was his dad alive this entire time? Because in the article, it said that he passed away. So. Who was, it was so bizarre. That was so bizarre. I'm kind of having difficulty making a connection here, but either way, really cool horror game. Very well done. I really enjoyed that. That was really super cool. And really cool with the mystery, leaving the, um, op like leaving the ending of this open and ambiguous. I mean, that really adds to the whole effect. You know, it really adds to the drama and stuff because I'm still super curious as to who I was exactly and what was going on. But really well done. Really, really super cool. I would like to play more games like this, like more horror games like this. Maybe at an element where I do have a sense of danger and I do have to interact a little bit more to, you know, help myself get out of this situation. You know, to make a really good horror game, you don't need necessarily need all the jump scares. You just need to create like really good atmosphere and I really like the 3D photograph effect when you're going from scene to scene. That was really creative. I like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. So if you guys want to go check this game out for yourselves, links as always will be in the description box below. If you did like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more content from myself, feel free to do so down below. We also do have a Discord server. So if you'd like to come on in, stop on in, say hello, we will be there to greet you. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed today's little video. And don't forget to do awesome, be awesome, and stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Goodbye.